Hello, and thank you so much for taking the time out to listen. So in this video, we're going to talk about BARD, which you see right on your screen. BARD is basically the chat GPT uh, version of Google, okay? So remember in the past what we were doing, right? <laughs> in the past some of you all you just did it is you go up to google you type in what it is that you're looking for in this case for purposes of this video we're going to get into the print on demand as well you put in let's say for me etsy alternatives i'm helping some people out with various stores and so forth so i put in etsy alternatives because they don't want to be on Etsy or Etsy is oversaturated or whatever. Etsy's got, you know, prices on each listing and I don't want that. So this is the old school way of doing research. Let's take a look at the sites then and go over the various sites with the clients to see what works and what doesn't work for them. Okay. So you see, you see this. Now the problem with the old school way of doing things is that what were we doing? Scrolling, scrolling, and then you come across something like this, right? I want the latest. I want the best. I just came from corporate America doing what corporate America wanted. And now I want to see what is recent, what is the best and all of that. And so of course, old school, right? We go back up here and we would tailor this and we would put a specific you know time frame on it right because we want all of the most recent information to come up now bard though <laughs> what bard does is it's going to give you what you need rather quickly and it's going to give you the latest okay and I know this is the latest because I've already done the research on these sorts of things in terms of what people are using right now that is working for them. OK, and I did old school research, watch videos, took notes, all of that. OK, and that was a year ago. I was starting this whole journey. But Bard goes, hey, you know what? We can get that information. And not only that, if you're more specific with your search, we can tell you a little bit about each company and you don't have to keep clicking on each website after each website. So if I was a little more detailed, I could include uh, specific things for the um, for the tool to bring up about each website. OK, like, for instance, the demographic that it serves. OK, or maybe I want to know where these remote uh, print on demand companies are located all of that and so you just add all the details to your request now there's also books that are out here as well as PDF um, documents there are youtubers talking about all these prompts that you can stick in here um, you know but I like I like checking things out you know on my own kind of experimenting a bit and uh, get into all the technical stuff as I need it. So in the meantime, you see print full red bubble, right? These are print on demand stores for an artisan to upload their designs so that they're wearing their designs and not these companies that have been around forever. When I was talking to this uh, particular person about this, I was saying things like, look, you know, you want to leave something behind for your children that you created that they're wearing. You know, let's take this next level. Let's let's have these types of stores left behind where we could say, let me go to my, you know, brother, sister, cousin, aunt, mom's shop and wear her designs, you see, because you don't appreciate people until they're gone, right? And so you might as well start thinking in terms of what you can do creatively that someone would appreciate when you're gone. And I would appreciate wearing a t-shirt from one of my loved ones, um, having some drinkware that they designed. Um, you know, maybe they've got another size of that same design. And now we've got uh, uh, relatives that are dressing like twins, you see. Just cool things that we can do. And it's so easy nowadays to create these. Now, there is a red bubble Matter of fact, uh, there's quite a few uh, Redbubble uh, types of um, products that one can put uh, their design on, right? This is just another example. So let, let's say, for instance, uh, you know, I want to check out phone cases and I want to check out my relative's store um, on Redbubble uh, and see if they have a phone case in that design. 
um, instead of wearing a t-shirt because maybe I'm not a t-shirt wearer. And then it turns out that, oh, you know, they have an iPhone uh, design for that, you see. And so you see some of these sellers, that's what they did here, okay. In the future, I'll show you my stores and all that good stuff. We're still working on some things, okay. And I know some of you all will look at prices and go, well, wait a minute, you know, that's that's kind of steep. Yeah, but we're talking about artisans, unique, different. Uh, you're not going to see uh, this uh, sort of thing in your local department store, right? So it's unique. And once again, we're talking about loved ones. So... The next we have is Teespring. Now, typically of most of these sites, as you can see, you're going to register. You always have a name that you want to use, whether it's your real name or you come up with your own brand name. You'll need your email and your password in order to sign up. All of the sites are like this. No need to get into you know a tutorial on every single site. Um, there are those sites. Uh, those are uh, youtubers who have already done this sort of thing so you're welcome to put in the name of the site and um, the uh, tutorial on how to navigate each site and I will tell you they do update them so some of those YouTube videos are already outdated okay and then what I did was I did a little bit of price comparison shopping on this one store that I'm building and I found that the red bubble shop wasn't going to be the best option uh, for this particular um, customer instead threadless would be for pricing um, didn't want to set up an Etsy shop didn't want to have that whole eBay feeling of listing and all of that and having to pay uh, for prices uh, to list so we settled on threadless now threadless similar to some of the other uh, stores like the red bubbles the printifies the print fools these other print on demand stores that you have to have a product title right and then you're going to upload your design from a file on your computer if it's not mature content you'll select no and then you'll select the products that you want to put your uh, design on all of the print on demands have similar ways of doing these sorts of things they also tell you what is the best primary file size if it's not right there on the site you you can uh, do a search on that sort of thing okay teespring as i mentioned earlier and then zazzle is another one and the thing about zazzle is that your customers coming on your site can actually customize your design to put their name on it okay so, for instance, maybe I like your design, but I would like to add my initials or maybe I would like to add a name uh, to that uh, cute little design that you came up with. OK, and so that's the thing that people like about Zazzle is that they see a design and then they can go right on that uh, site and they can customize that, uh, you see, the personalized option. And then you're able to put whose ever name you want to put in there. You see. And then you can change it. And then, or you might want to upload another image to it. Okay. And they have a design tool where you can go right in. And utilize that person's design that they came up with and then you can proceed to put your own design okay and there's tutorial videos that'll get into the details about that as well okay now what I noticed though is that you always want to shop around to the print-on-demand stores to see what you think would be good pricing for your customer base okay some of my relatives did this sort of thing um, and they ended up on sites where the prices were too expensive and so they got zero sales okay they also have other things once again that you can put your designs on other than t-shirts 
because some relatives, what we noticed, didn't want t-shirts, okay? Didn't want bags, didn't want, you know, jackets, but liked home decor, like what you see here on Etsy, okay? So definitely take the time out, play around, enjoy yourself, okay? Don't stress about making money. That is something that we all learn the hard way. You start stressing about that, your designs turn out terrible because you're worried about that instead of making sure that your designs fit on the shirts properly, you know, that the uh, images are clear, that we know what they're saying, all of that good stuff. I've seen too many bad designs. I myself even caught myself early on making crappy designs. <laughs> so, but bar.google.com is so helpful, I will tell you. So, one thing I did before we uh, end this is I wanted a summary of a t-shirt shop and I included Georgia that caters to people of faith, primarily women, wives, and mothers for the example today. I've already created a store like this, but just to give you an example of what I've done. And I wanted to take what the summary came up with using Bard and you use that to help me in building the site, right? Except back then, it was a uh, chat GPT. So Bard says, well, here's a summary of a t-shirt shop located in Georgia that caters to people of faith, primarily women, wives, and mothers. And then it gives you a shop name. It tells you a location, the target audience, the products, and all of this good stuff. This is a made up store, folks. <laughs> hasn't been created it was just me testing this out to see if it could be able to do it right and so then it goes on to tell me what is popular i know somebody is like oh my god this information is crucial it proceeds to tell me now this is real what is popular in terms of faith inspired teas now think about all of the ideas you had well what's popular uh concerning teas for moms and what's popular for teas for dads and what's popular for teas for the fourth of july and what's but you see now me i'm not one for taking what's popular because what i found in the past when you do try to do something popular it's popular already that that means that there's a whole lot of competition so you want to do something that has a similar type of style but not so popular to the point where you come away with nothing okay so the good thing about bard though is it did the research already hallelujah you see so i know that i am loved that t-shirt is a popular one and it's over there on amazon.com i know bless mother is a popular one that's selling pretty well it's on etsy notice i did not have to go from window to window to find this out like so many tutorials that are out there where they show you with product sourcing where they're going from window to window uh-uh Jesus Loves You is another popular one over at Etsy, see? So it gave me three, and that way I have a good idea of, okay, so people like quotes on t-shirts, people like a bit of color, okay? Um, they also like to have things on the back of, like, a sweatshirt as well, um, uh, uh, celebrating their faith, you see? So this is the sort of thing that Bard is doing. <laughs> and you just got a glimpse, all right? And some of you all are like, well, forget chat GPT. I know, right? I like those colors too. It's a nice little format there, uh-huh. All right, so now I'm gonna close out this message. Please do come back to Resource Rundown. I am gonna be running down some more useful information to help you uh, with whatever it is that you're trying to come up with. You're welcome to reach out to me and uh, check the description box. Forget this old school way of doing things. <laughs> Have a great day.